Hello, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your March the 11th just for today in a meditation. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Okay, the title of today's meditation is Lightening the Load. It will not make us better people to judge the faults of another. It will make us feel better to clean up our lives. That is taken from the basic text, page 38. Sometimes we need something tangible to help us understand what holding a resentment is doing to us. We may not be aware of how destructive resentments actually are. We think, so what? I have a right to be angry. Or I might be nursing a grudge or two, but I don't see the harm. To see more clearly the effect that holding resentments is having in our lives, we might try imagining that we are carrying a rock for each resentment. A small grudge, such as anger at someone driving badly, might be represented by a pebble. Harboring ill will toward an entire group of people might be represented by a enormous boulder. Should be an enormous boulder, okay? If we actually have to carry stones for each resentment, we would surely tire of the weight. In fact, the more cumbersome our burden, the more sincere our efforts to unload it would be. The weight of our resentments hinders our spiritual development. If we truly desire freedom, we will seek to rid ourselves of as much extra weight as possible. As we lighten up, we'll notice an increased ability to forgive our fellow human beings for their mistakes and to forgive ourselves for our own. We'll nourish our spirits with good thoughts, kind words, and service to others. Just for today, I will seek to have the burden of resentments removed from my spirit. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you, God. Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. Yeah, lightening our load is something that we should want to do. Um, if you really think about all of the entanglements in our relationships, our daily dealings, while actively using no doubt we will find that there were some resentments that we truly harbored. Uh, we let resentments harbor at the deck of our hearts for as long as we felt angry or upset, or maybe we just let it harbor at the deck of our heart because we wanted something to have as an excuse to do what we wanted to do when we wanted to do it, the way that we wanted to do it, and how we wanted to do it. And we use that over and over and over. Well, if so-and-so hadn't done this, I wouldn't have done this. Well, you know, the reason why that worked out like this is because you did such and such. I wouldn't have done that if you had given me other options. And so we go on and on and on with these petty and sometimes not so petty resentments. And they eat away at us. They make us very callous. And it's hard when you're talking about recovery and you're talking about trying to recover from the disease of addiction, it's very difficult to do on one hand, you want to recover, but on the other hand, you want to remain in unforgiveness. And when you lay there in unforgiveness, it's very difficult to get up and walk with a free spirit because whatever you are being unforgiving about it comes back to you. It's like poison that you drink and you want your enemy to be you know, killed by it, but it's not going to happen. 
because you are the one that is suffering from that resentment, that unforgiveness. And so today we can lighten our loads by looking at some of these things. And maybe you won't be able to lighten the load right away, but you can surely lighten the load day by day. You can just say, you know what, I'm, I'm done talking about that. The next time that person's name even comes back up, I am not going to respond. I'm not going to retell the story. And I find that a lot of people have a tendency to tell the story differently every time they tell it. And they add a little bit. I don't think I told you this part. Maybe I didn't mention this. And what I find out is that either one, they're remembering more of it and their guard has dropped so they don't feel inclined to omit by uh, lie by omission or they actually are believing their own lie. And it doesn't even matter. These are resentments that we hold as reservations in our program and they're like boulders and we want to get rid of them as quickly as possible and decisively as possible. And what do I mean by decisively? Decisively would be that you are looking at your patterns in your fourth step and you're seeing where you erred. Well, you've seen where you've done great things as well, your assets, right? But we're looking at these liabilities decisively, making a decision that I want to be rid of that resentment that comes with that. And that's what we want to do. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you and I will be talking to you tomorrow.